When you think about our growth as individuals, disciples of Jesus Christ, we find ourselves at times during storms and difficulties and the hurricane, so to speak, of life. I'll share some scriptures with you about how the Savior Jesus Christ is there and can help us during any of the challenging storms that we may be facing. Hey everyone, welcome to Changing. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, and I'm super excited to have you here with us today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this episode and to listen to this podcast. As you know, this podcast is designed and specifically dedicated to helping individuals like you and me change our lives and draw closer to Christ. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, we all face difficulties and we're all battling through some of the some of the similar challenges, whether it's like emotional or mental or physical, financial. Uh, we, we find ourselves in storms, in difficult moments, whether it's like a divorce, or maybe it's a child that's having anxiety problems, or maybe it's you with emotional uh, and and maybe anxiety that you're facing with life and all the things that are going on, or perhaps your family have financial challenges right now, or maybe it's just you, you feel down. Maybe you made some wrong decisions in the past and you don't feel that you're up to the par to be a, an adequate disciple, no matter what your circumstances, no matter who you are. The Lord Jesus Christ understands you. He knows where you're coming from and he knows the difficulties that, that you faced and that you will continue to face. Today, I hope that I'll be able to share some stuff with you that can help you in that process as you're changing and becoming better. As you know, many of us or many of you that listen to this podcast know that I live in South Florida and a few, you know, past couple of weeks has not been pretty for the state of Florida. We've experienced a lot of, uh, of, of major hurricane uh, and uh, weather problems. I'd probably say hurricane. There's one of them that came through and that one was um, was Ian, Tropical Storm Ian that turned into a, a, a Hurricane Ian and got up to a Category 4 and almost a Category 5. It devastated Fort Myers and... Uh, um, we'll share some images of that on the screen and some of the surrounding areas of how challenging and how difficult that was. And when you look at destruction that the storm can bring, you know, sometimes you you kind of feel like, like, you feel helpless, feel hopeless, like there's nothing that I could do to prevent this. Now, in our spiritual life, we have those storms. We have those difficult moments. We have those challenging times where it feels like everything, our world is turning upside down, no matter what we do. It just feels like we're not progressing or it feels like it's impossible to get out of it. I gave you some of those scenarios up at the top, but there's, we know that there's always a way out. The Savior Jesus Christ has made that, uh, has made that evidently uh, known to us through the scriptures. But you know what? Sometimes it's not as easy to do what we know or to do the things that the Savior wants us to do. In this episode today, I want to break down a few verses. So let's read some scriptures here. Luke chapter 8, verse 22. We're going to have this on the screen as well so you can see it. And it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came a storm of wind uh, on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came unto him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. And he arose and rebuked the winds and the raging of the sea, and they ceased, and there was calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying on one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and the water, and they obey him. So the point here is that these guys, these disciples, were in what seemed to be a impossible situation. It seemed like they were doomed. They were going to die. They were going to be. They were going to. They're. They're definitely going to meet their maker. Um, well, it's kind of in the boat with them, right? <laughs> well, at least the Savior Jesus Christ. And you know, they were. They were. They were concerned. And I think about that with like the struggles that we talk about. Like, just imagine like the hurricane. When you see the you know the storms like the waves, I mean they had storm surges in Fort Myers like that were you know up six foot and 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 higher it seems like in the the storm surges that came through. Um, I mean some of the images just looked really bad. It was devastating. So when you see that, imagine looking at that water. Imagine seeing the big waves. Imagine seeing buildings like fall apart around you. Imagine feeling just terror and pure fear like all of that and think about these disciples at that moment they knew in their mind at this point they're doomed for 
But then all of a sudden they woke the Savior and the Savior rebuked the storm. Now, your storm may not be Fort Myers. It may not be a devastating flood. It may not be an earthquake, but there may be an earthquake or a seismic shift in your life, in your spiritual life. And, you know, think about it like this in in that situation. Um, if it's that maybe the, the divorce or a challenging time you're going through with that, your spouse or someone that you're, you know, that you've been with for a while or whatever, just, it just feels like your whole world is moving. Everything just becomes unstable. Or perhaps it's a, uh, a death of a loved one, or perhaps it's the financial struggles, or maybe it's uh, emotional or mental challenges, or maybe it's just uh, not being able to find a good job in the toxic environment. Like there's so many things that could be the storms in our life, but the Savior can rebuke that. Now, I'm not saying all the time the Savior comes in and stop the storm. He sometimes let the storm go. Like for instance, the one in Fort Myers, there are many of us that were praying that the storm would you know, maybe go out to sea or stay out at sea. However, there's reasons why the Lord allows us to go through the storms. In the disciples' situation, they, the Lord, they went, they were in the storm. They were battling the storm. They were, they were toiling during the storm. The Lord didn't take away the storm right away. He allowed them to go through that storm. And think about what they learned as they went through that storm. They probably learned how to best navigate it. The boat was staying up float, wasn't it? Right? And then the other part to that, too, think about the spiritual side. The Savior is on their side. I mean, think about it. The Savior is in their boat. Do you think that boat is going to capsize? The Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, do you think that boat is going to capsize? No. So even if you did go through a physical storm, the Savior, Jesus Christ, is with you, and he's going to protect you. And if you think about it with your, your spiritual and emotional storms, those, those, uh, those secular storms, so to speak, the financial struggles, Yes, the Lord understands and knows what you're going through. Go back to what he said to the disciples, you know, about their faith. He asked them, where is your faith? And I would ask you, where is your faith? I would challenge you when you find yourself in those situations, go on your knees. Pray and ask the Lord for help. Pray and ask, ask for deliverance. Pray, pray and ask for guidance. I promise you, if you do, that he will deliver. He will guide and he will provide aid. He will give you the support, the, the assurance, and the guidance that you need to get through that challenge in time. One thing you can do, and we've spoken about this on many other episodes, if you want to increase on your faith, you can go ahead and you can pray and you can ask the Lord for help with that. Yeah, you know that? You can pray and ask for help with faith. He can give you the guidance you need to get more faith. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to our community and we have opportunities for people to pray with you and to share insights with you on how you can improve your faith. We also have the opportunity to fast. You can go on your knees and pray and fast to the Lord. You know, do a couple of uh, you know, meals where you go without eating a 24 hour fast and you just pray throughout that fast and ask the Lord for help and for guidance. He can and will help you. Listen, if he calmed the storms for the disciples, if he's calmed the storm for us in our lives, if he's helped us to get through some of these physical trials, why can't he help you go through the difficult moments and the, trial, the trials and difficulties you have? Of course he can. He can help you to overcome those temptations. He can help you to get past the difficult times, and he can help you to be able to have the peace and the reassurance you need. I know he lives. I know Jesus is a Christ. I know he can calm the storms, and I know he can help us. We just need to go and ask him. We just need to have that faith. And as we do, he can work that miracles, miracle in our life. I testify of these things and share them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for listening to this episode today. I hope that you are able to gain one or two piece of nuggets that can help you as you're going through the storms in your life. And you know what? Even if you're not going through any storms right now, you're going to face them. We all do, no matter where you are, no matter where you live. The Lord Jesus Christ, however, can help you and can guide you through that. I challenge you to study the scriptures. I challenge you to pray to him. And I encourage you to fast. I know if you do the fast and you go on your knees and you pray throughout that fast, the Lord's going to be able to work miracles in your life. He's done it for all of us, many of us. Oh, and he can do it for you. He will. I testify of these things. I know that he will come again. I know that when he does, I want to be able to see you on the right side with him. If this is your first time listening to our show, please go ahead and subscribe. Tell someone else about this episode. Like take this one episode link, share it with one other person that you know, and so they can find benefit from it. I appreciate you. And until next time, see ya.